Hi, this is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home, and I want to talk about creating a possible rental situation in your home. A lot of times I've seen clients want to build a basement. It's a place to grow, but now a lot of people are thinking about being able to have a small rental inside their home. I just designed a home like this for a client where the whole bottom is rented out with a complete exterior access, and that's what I want to talk about, how to create an exterior access for the bottom access of a, of a, um, a basement foundation. Now, this is halfway in the foundation and halfway out, which makes it a lot easier. But you notice we have got a concrete steps that go down there. There's two things you really need to worry about at the start, right? The first is the setback. Once you put that step in, you're now extending the footprint of the home out because that's considered foundation. For a lot of builders, you may wanna check with your local building official to find out if that's going to affect the foundation setback. Typically, if your setback wall is, the side setback is over there, and this is the house, this is the foundation of the home. Well, if you extend that out, some of them will consider that foundation, some of them will not consider that foundation. And so that's gonna encroach on your setback. And setbacks are your side setbacks, your rear setbacks, your front setbacks. Just about every city or ordinance requires a certain amount of setbacks. In this subdivision, it was set by the, the uh, plat of the subdivision. So I've got 12 feet here, 20 feet in the back, and another 12 feet on the other side. So we, we had the room to do that. So you wanna make sure that you've got a setback. The second thing you wanna make sure of is at the bottom of this step here, there's a drain. I don't have that connected to a sewer and they're not gonna typically want that to happen. So I dug down another three and a half feet by three and a half feet, almost like a cubic yard. And I put a, a drain at the bottom of that and the water now percolates through all that rock. Then we poured the concrete. Now that doesn't hold a lot of water. It just helps offset a high flash flood, at least allowing it to percolate into the ground. Otherwise it's gonna puddle down there. I did that on a commercial job up north where I had two French drains and I connected them to each other and had them drain right into the gutter. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a drain at the bottom of that, all right? The second thing that you want, one more thing that, that's, those are the two primary things you wanna focus on. That will tell you whether or not you can do it. If there's too much rock below and you can't dig, you may not be able to put a drain, I wouldn't recommend it. And then you can find out some excavators, um, what it would cost to dig that out. The, the last thing you really wanna focus on is, and this is some planning in advance, all right? If you're gonna build a basement and you think you might want to have an exterior access for the reason we have explained here, then you're gonna have a window like this, <clears throat> typically, and you're gonna to wanna to make sure it's a wide enough window uh, so that you don't have to cut any concrete. Going over this window, inside the concrete is rebar. And that's considered your bomb beam. That's actually holding the whole house uh, up above. But if there was no window here at all, and you, have, you wanna cut in for a, uh, an access, then you're gonna have to put a lentil support. I'll show you what that is over here. This here is a lentil support. It's a really thick gauge metal. And it actually had to, my concrete cutters come out and they cut into the concrete all the way across. And then we inserted this lentil support because I don't have, I couldn't guarantee that I had any rebar going over the top of the header to support the house up above. And since I didn't have that and I couldn't guarantee it, we ended up putting a lentil support. Now to avoid that headache, just make sure that if you have a window down below, it's wide enough, at least the width is wide enough for a complete framed win, uh, door. And if you can do that, you're really, ready to make something happen down the road. I've got a client right now, I'll send you some pictures, that she wants uh, two exterior entrances to her basement. She's got a 6,000 square foot home and there's all this room, it's not being utilized. So she's going to utilize it for her own purpose. And so we're gonna build two exterior entrances, steps going down. We'll do a French drain like you see here. But I would recommend to make sure to try to cover these, that would make less wear and tear, less weathering on this door and water from rain would allow it to sheet off into the grass over here. That's something I need to talk about this homeowner down the road. She knows that's what I've recommended. Hopefully we'll be able to do that for her down the road. But at least this was able to create an opportunity 
to create a, a rental on this property. Um, the cost on that, I did this one a couple of years ago, that was about $7,200. You could estimate now between ten dollars and $12,000 to do that, but uh, that pays for itself in the first year. If everything else is taken care of on the inside, this here is an advantage down the road. So if you're thinking about a rental, a basement opportunity with a secondary entrance that's completely private is probably the best option for you. But again, look for setbacks, make sure there's a drain at the bottom. Uh, and then of course, check to see if there's a need for lentil support. If there's no need for lentil support, you can use the natural bond beam that's imposed or built in with this window. And I've actually used metal detectors to make sure I got metal inside the, the bomb beam. I did that on a job years ago. The inspector didn't believe that I had metal even with the pictures I showed him. So we actually had some metal detectors to show all sorts of metal for the bomb beam there. A couple things I wanted to share with you regarding exterior entrances for a bottom basement rental unit that's completely private access. This is Keith with How to Build Your Own Home.